What's up everyone, Takedown here, welcome back to another video. Finally, PlayStation has released the PlayStation wrap-up for 2020. This is something that fans assumed was not going to happen because normally, PlayStation releases the wrap-up in about the second or third week of January. This year, it was released in February 2nd. So right now, you have until March 2nd to go and check your stats and redeem the free theme for PlayStation wrap-up this year. Now, if you don't know what PlayStation wrap-up is, it is PlayStation sharing with you your stats from the previous year. Everything from trophies, how many hours you played, your top games for the previous year, and that sort of thing. Now, for me, this past year, I did set goals in place for myself. Number one was 100 trophies per month and that would equal out to be 1200 trophies by the end of the year. And the second goal was to surpass my personal record of 13 platinums in one year. I wanted to break my personal record and I earned both of those goals and passed them this past year. Now the reason why I wanted to mention those goals and mention that is because whenever you look at your stats for PlayStation wrap up, it does not go from January 1st to December 31st. It actually goes about January 1st to around December 1st. Early December is the cutoff for the wrap up of the previous year. So any trophies or any stats after that till the end of the year is not included in your wrap up. And the reason for that, PlayStation is, claims that they need that time to calculate and share and gather everybody's information to be able to release for the wrap up. If you do not get the email from PlayStation sharing with you the link to check out your wrap up, I will leave it linked down below so you guys can check it out. I'm gonna be checking it out on my phone today, but I'll leave it on the screen so you guys can follow along and see exactly what the PlayStation wrap up looks like this year. So once you click the link and log into your PlayStation account, you are going to see that it does say welcome and your PlayStation name. Now, when you scroll past that, these are your stats for the past year. So starting off with the number of games played in 2020, mine was 115, which does make sense because I do have a lot of backlog games. I did purchase a lot of games in 2020, a lot of indie games as well, and of course the free PS Plus games. So I did play a lot of games this year and it says I played 115 different games. My top games for this past year, I predicted this a while ago and these are pretty accurate. First one is my top game played, 512 hours and that is WWE 2K20. WWE 2K20 is to a lot of people a almost broken game, but this game here for everything that I play, WWE Universe, create a championship, create pay-per-views, attires, different things like that, and be able to play the game, I was able to play the game. So it did work for me and I did play a lot of it this past year. The next game that is my second place game for 2020 is NHL 20. I did play a buttload of this, 284 hours. And this game here, I play a lot of general manager mode in NHL games and I absolutely love it. Creating a team, winning, trying to win the Stanley Cup every year. It's a lot of fun to try to manage your team that way and I'm a huge NHL fan. And the third game is Star Wars Battlefront 2 with 120 hours played in 2020. Now this is a free PS Plus game that came out in the summer of 2020 and I started grinding right away because I wanted to earn a platinum for the game and the game was a lot of fun. I absolutely loved it. The story was amazing. The online aspect was amazing. Some of the trophies were extremely grindy but it does make sense that it is one of my top three games because I played it a lot since it became free for PS Plus and I really wanted to get the platinum which I did before the end of the year. My top genre was fighting games. Going down now, total hours of gameplay in 2020 is 2005, which does make sense. Hours played locally, 1,919. I do play mostly by myself now. Various games, trophy hunting, things like that. And 86 hours online. That was likely mostly due to Star Wars because there's a lot of online grindy trophies and that's probably where the online hours of 86 came from. Now for days played in 2020, this one is very interesting because they don't specify what that means and mine is 326. Now I don't know if that means actually gaming where you're playing a game for that many days this past year or does that mean if you watch Netflix on your PlayStation 4 or you leave your system on for the day to do updates and different things like that where you're not actually gaming but your system is on, does it add those days on to this? It doesn't really specify. 
My top day of the week was evenings on Thursdays. Last year, I remember it being afternoons on Tuesdays because I was working overnights at the casino. PlayStation Now, top three PlayStation Now games for 2020. I'm not sure if this is my personal stats or just in general for PlayStation Now because they do mix in uh, different things like PlayStation Plus and PlayStation Now throughout it. So Marvel Spider-Man, Days Gone, and Horizon Zero Dawn. Now two of those games, Spider-Man and Horizon Zero Dawn, I did not get from PlayStation Now. So I don't know if this is my personal stat or just in general for PlayStation Now. Total trophies earned in 2020 was 1,189. Like I said, they don't go until the end of the year and I know I earned 1,200 and about 25 trophies. I did meet my goal this past year and I do keep track of my trophies myself. So I know I did beat my goal, but it only calculates 1,189 because it only goes up until a certain point in December. And I did beat my record of 13 Platinums for my personal record for the previous year, with 2020 being 17 Platinums. So far in 2021, I am at 9 and it's only the beginning of February, so I'm really excited for this next year. Now for PlayStation Plus, it doesn't really show any stats, it just shows the free games for this past year. I'm not sure if it's the ones I downloaded or it's just showing all of the games in general. And below that, you can click the link to redeem your free theme. Now, I've already went and done this and put it on my PS4, but what you're gonna do is you're gonna click the link, then you're gonna sign into your PlayStation accounts and it's gonna give you a code. You can either enter that code on your PlayStation 4 or I'm assuming PlayStation 5 as well to redeem it that way, or you can just redeem it on your phone or laptop and then all you have to do if your PlayStation 4 is on, just restart your PS4 and then go under themes and you should be able to put it on your PS4 or even your PS5. I'm assuming you can do it on PS5 as well this year. So these were my PlayStation stats from the PlayStation wrap up for 2020. Now for the most part, mine were pretty accurate. It was really close with how many trophies it said I earned compared to how many trophies I know I earned. And that's because there is a cutoff in December. And there also did for my top three games that was pretty accurate because I know WWE 2k20 I did play a lot of this past year NHL 20 I knew I played a lot of that and I knew I grinded out on Star Wars a lot to earn that platinum so those were completely accurate this year since it started in I think 2018 or 2019 this year is the most accurate it has been for my personal records and my personal stats because I always check and keep track of my own trophies and stuff like that. Not necessarily how many days I play and different stats like it does share in PlayStation Wrap Up, but for the most part, my trophies and Platinums, I do keep track of. Like I said at the beginning of this video, I am gonna leave it linked down below so you guys can check out your PlayStation Wrap Up 2020. You have until March 2nd to do so, and I do recommend doing so because you get a free theme out of it, and it is a pretty decent theme. It's nice, clean, and crisp, and everything flows. It's pretty simple, but it is a nice theme. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Comment down below what your PlayStation 2020 wrap-up stats were, what were your top three games played, how many trophies did you earn, and how many Platinums did you earn in 2020. I'm gonna leave this video here. Hope you guys enjoyed. I will see you guys in the next one. Please take care. Peace.